In this video, I am going to explain ARM ALP program. So, add first 10 integer numbers. So, you have to create new file. So, if you create a new project, already some file is there, you can delete it. Just you have to remove the previous program. If it is in a debug mode, you have to stop debug mode and uh, just click on it and remove it. Then add new item to the source and select asm file and you type uh, uh, first 10 int or 10 integer sum or some 10 integer you can give any label label can be any anything you can give any name okay add 10 int like that you can give and click okay or add so what happens it will going to add and blank editor will come so here you have to type this program so i already have that file so we have already that time file you have to add existing file so i am already having that file add 10 int dot s so this is the program the first line is actually ttl stands for title title of the program is add first 10 integer numbers okay you can write ttl or you can write uh, semicolon and you can comment the entire line and in the comment you can write what is the program you are doing next area area of this memory is addition and it is a code memory and it is read only memory then uh, export space underscore underscore main two times underscore and main small min and it is a label so it is there in the startup file so in the startup file whenever it's starting it is loading load or not address of underscore underscore main so in our program we have to use the same label underscore underscore mean export underscore underscore main so that uh, the startup file is going to import that uh, address so next fourth line is also label so only labels and uh, variable declaration you have to give without space all other lines you have to give minimum one character space other better use one on tab so underscore underscore mean so your program starts move or are not move or not as 10 so we are adding first 10 integer no so that indicate that is indicated in the register or not will have the uh, counter for okay uh, 10 numbers so r not indicates r not value indicates we have to add get 10 integers if it if we want to add 20 integer you have to load with 20 integer we are writing the uh, without 0 x 10 zero. so 10 zero means actually decimal 10 numbers okay you want to add 20 integers you have to give as 20 okay then move r now r1 is equal to 0 so r1 is actually it is a, a register where we are storing the sum r1 holds actually sum value okay what is the sum and initially the sum is 0 okay initially it is 0 sum is 0 initially so after that you have to give add r1 comma r0 so in the rm we have instructions so first one after instruction which one is there now that is actually destination you can give add r1 comma r1 comma r0 okay which is nothing but add it is going to add r1 with the r0 and it is going to store it the answer again in this r1 register only again it is going to store in r1 only so that's why uh, if you want you can write add r1 comma r1 comma r0 or since your source and destination are same only you can skip one more r1 so it acts as r1 acts as source as well as destination so r1 is added with r0 answer is stored in r1 you can also write add r1 comma r1 comma r0 okay now we added one data out of 10 integers we added one so you have to decrement the uh, counter value which is stored in r0 so we have to do subtract r0 is equal to r0 minus 1 it is subtracted by 1 here so again here you can write r0 uh, comma r0 hash 1 since uh, both the source and destination registers are the same you can remove one and yes is update the flag after 
subtraction if any carry flag is if it is zero you have to update the carry flag as the uh, one like that so s means update the flag so here you can see we are checking flag now we updated the flag by using uh, subscript s now we are checking branch to label loop okay branch to label lab loop if it is not equal if if zero flag okay if zero flag is not equal to one if zero flag is not equal to one okay not equal to one if, uh, if it is zero after subtract uh, after subtraction r not by one if that value becomes zero uh, zero flag is set to one otherwise it is not equal to one if zero flag is not equal to one then branch to okay then branch to or branch means jump only jump to label uh, what label we had given here we had given label as you can write uh, back or l1 or loop any label you can give is a label just a label so here we had given loop so it is going to that label is present in the left side here without space so you can see here that loop so it is going to that there okay again this 10 minus 1 is what 9 now so it is uh, it is definitely it is not equal to 1 so it is going to this loop so again it is going to add add r1 comma r0 so previously r1 is added with r0 and it is holding the previous uh, uh, sum okay every time it is going to do r1 comma r0 it is going to update the new uh, some value to r1 once again okay so now it is adding r1 with r0 so 10 plus we added with 9 again decrement r1 not by 1 again it is not equal to 0 I'm going to add once again r1 with r0 so 10 times it is going to add first 10 plus 9 next to plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 every time you decrement by 1 once all the 10 data are added r1 becomes 0 and it is going to set z fly going to set to 1 and uh, if it is not equal to branch to or jump to loop or else it will execute next so in the next ldr r2 is equal to get the address of sum where we are going to write so that write is uh you have to write in uh, not code memory because code is only read only so you have to write in different memory we are written one more area which is result name is result which is a data memory and you can do read write so there we declared one sum defined constant data initially it is assumed as zero and it is going to fetch the address of this sum into r2 after that store r1 see here in r1 only we are adding destination add r1 comma r0 so your answer is in r1 so store r1 into the address specified by r2 where actually r2 is having the address of sum this location so it is going to store the r1 sum value into uh, that uh, ram location sum uh, variable location so now compile this program save it and compile it this is a build build or rebuild so any error is there you check it out there is no errors okay so for simulation and all you should be okay debug should be use simulator if you go to options for target okay it should be debug should be use simulator and output a link in target you have to use uh, use default compiler version 5 if you use version 6 uh, some warnings will come okay now uh, start debug so we'll execute step by step now so it is going to load startup file we already commented five lines in the startup file on line number 127 129 130 272 273 lines in the beginning you have to put comment in the startup once you create a project startup file will be able to include uh, for that you refer my video step by step tutorial of uh, rm assembly language program i uh, explain detail in detail how to create a new project how to in, uh, install uh, 1700 uh, uh, drivers and all so you have to uh, check that video okay now Within two lines, load R0, we exported in our program underscore underscore main. And here you can see line number 128, import. So it is importing the address of 
underscore underscore main label and it is loading that address into R0 and BX means branch to R0. Within two lines, two steps, you should go to our main program. Otherwise, some problem in your project, you have to uh, create new project in a new different folder. Please remember, in a one folder, only one project should be there. For each file, don't create one one project. You have to re can remove that particular file. Okay, and this should be in uh, black color. Sometimes if uh, two, three projects are there in the one single uh, folder, uh, there are multiple startup files will be there so that uh, they will get uh, overwritten and uh, you'll get these three files will be in red color. That time your program may not work properly. So uh, now the pointer is pointing to here. So move or not with hash 10, which is actually decimal 10. In the register, it will store as 0A. A means hexadecimal, 10 is, is a decimal number. R1 is loaded with uh, 0, so no change. Add R1, comma R0. See, destination is R1. Now it is going to execute this. Add R1, comma R0. Now you can see, R1 is updated with from 0. Initially, R1 is initialized to 0. Now it is added with uh, uh, 10. So now it is A. Now subtract R0 by 1. R0, you see. First register R0, it becomes 10 minus 1 is what? 9. It is not equal to 0. Z flag, you can see. It is not equal to 1. Then you have to go to, okay, then you have to go to label loop. Back, or you can, if you are writing a back, you have to write here back. That is a label, you can write whatever you want. It is going there. Again, add R1 with R0. R1 is what? Yet A means 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 in hexadecimal is 1, 3. Okay. Next, again, decrement R0. If it is not equal to 0, it will it will keep on continuing. So, until R0, see, I will stop here. Now, R0 is 1. Okay. Now, R0 is 1. Observe. And R0 is 1. Again, subtract R0 by here it is doing R0 by 1. Immediately this R0 becomes 0 and observe Z flag. Z flag becomes 1. If it is not equal, it will go to the loop, else it will execute the next instruction. So in the next instruction, we have load R2 address of sum. What is the address of sum that is coming in register R2? In R2, actually we have 30. In R2, we have 0. Okay. So that is address 0x1 followed by 70. So you have to open memory window. So you can go to view memory window. One four memory windows you can open. So I already opened in the last uh, program. So it will be there. So here you have to type 0x1 followed by 70. If it is not there, you have to type. If it is already there, no need to type once again. Here it is already there. See here 0x. If you are doing first time, you have to type 0x100. Suppose in the previous program only you open the same location, automatically it may come. Okay, now uh, here you can see the content, it is 0. Actually, we have to transfer our uh, sum from R1 to this location. So, we got the address. After that, from R1, we have to move to this address. So, you can see, observe what happens to this serial uh, memory. See, it came. It is actually 37, no? 37 is the answer in R1 also you can observe. Uh, in the calculator also, if you want, you can check in the uh, hexadecimal. Okay, in the hexadecimal. Uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Answer is. Actually, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, not A. This is a, a in a hexadecimal, it is A, no? Capital A. It is 37. In decimal, it is 55. Sum of n numbers is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, 10 into 10 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. 10 divided by 2 is 
फाइव इंटू एलेवन इज फिफ्टी फाइव योर आंसर इज फिफ्टी फाइव ओके सो फिफ्टी फाइव इज आंसर यू कैन आलसो चेक हियर आलसो राइट क्लिक एंड चेंज इट टू डेसिमल द डेसिमल इट इज कमिंग एज फिफ्टी फाइव इन एक्सा डेसिमल इट इज कमिंग एज थर्टी सेवन थैंक यू